hi guys welcome back it's been a while since um i've been in front of you sharing my latest and greatest inspiration today's inspiration is a little bit of motherland so if you want to know how i did this and i'm going to be sharing my new foundation routine with you guys stick around and you'll see exactly how i did it and there's my little one but i stick around not stick around hi my name is noah this is my friend mama but so nice of me that's it. All right. Thank you, Noah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. So with this, I didn't start with a transition color, but um, I kind of added my colors and then transitioned afterwards. But this time, I'm going to add my base transition color first because I think that works for me better. My transition color is going to come from my Norvina palette and it's just a, I'm going to use eccentric transition brown color here. Eccentric. There you are. I'm going to transition with that color. So I'm going to use a nice fluffy brush. Remember, we're just going to tap. Notice I'm just going to add that transition color at the top here, um, not actually on my lid because I don't want to mess up the fact that I'm going to be adding some bright yellow over there. All right, and I'm going to use my, my favorite Anastasia um, eye primer. If you don't have the um, ABH, you can always use the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fairest. I find that it, it does the, the same. It's a little bit thinner, um, which some people may prefer. As you see, I've already done my brows. Um, so. So I'm gonna take this primer and I'm gonna create a small cut crease just so that my yellow can pop a little bit more. I've really already primed the whole eye. All you need is a flat brush to add the cut crease. I'm not trying to make this crease perfect. Like I said, I just want it for the yellow to pop right there in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna add it in the center. My lid stops there, I take the crease a little bit above there. Cause when I open my eyes, my eyeshadow does something different when you have a little bit of a hooded eye. All right, so you wanna go above your actual crease, okay? And you're just gonna pat it. underneath a little bit okay you want to let that dry while that's drying it's okay to take a um, like a base color in your palette you can choose any base color a lot of the palettes have either a white um, color or something that says base color in the palette I like to take that and just um, pat that on top. All right, give it a few more seconds, let it dry. Most of my colors that I'm going to, that I've used over here has come from the um, ABH Norvina Collection palette. Um, the colors look like this on the inside. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using the colors D4, C5, 
and D5. All right, they're right here. I'm gonna use that yellow. I'm gonna use D, um, E4, no, C4 and E5. So I'm gonna use these three colors here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the yellow. Um, I'm gonna use a very flat brush. You see that brush is really flat. Um, and I'm just gonna pat that color on. popping like I wanted to um, so since the last time I was with you guys I've been promoted I went to Texas where they were just wide open so I got a chance to go out to eat and you know relax enjoy myself a little bit um, you know while I get some work done too okay, so I usually like to stop about right there on the other side of my eye As I add more colors, we'll go back and reapply the yellow. You can always go back and reapply any colors that you lost. And then um, now I'm gonna go in with that deep red color, like a mahogany. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna, notice all my brushes are small, they're flat, they're not fluffy, and I'm doing this padding motion. Hope y'all been taking care of yourself, taking care of your health, taking care of your skin, your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual health, doing all those things to make sure you are the best version of you. You know, makeup doesn't make you the best version of you. Makeup is therapy. Um, most of us say that. Um, I hope you enjoy your skin to the point where you don't need makeup, but I definitely understand because I used to use makeup to cover my skin, my blemishes. And so you just have to get to a place where you you value skincare. And I do value skincare. All right, look how pigmented that is. Eww. All right, but I'll blend it in a little bit uh, with my blending brush. All right, so this brush is a little bit, um, it's a little bit fluffy, but it's very controlled at the at the tip here, and then it kind of flurries out. So I'm going to use that brush to blend. So again, I'm gonna use Eccentric, and I'm just going to help those colors mesh, because right now they're looking a little harsh, right? So I'm just gonna go right down the center, and. Right on the edge and just kind of blend those two. All right, so I'll tell you that I did go running this morning. I did a um, I did a quick little four miles. Um, was supposed to just do a five k, but. Ended up doing a little four miles, which was good and it felt great. And um, so, yeah, just taking care of self. And all right, so now this other color that I'm going to use from this palette, this color is um, it's very pigmented and it's you have to be careful. Don't pick up but a little bit. So I'm using a pointed brush. Um, this is a MAC 219S. Alright, and I'm only going to pick up a little bit of the D5 in that palette. Ooh, I'm scared because it's so pretty. I think I added too much on that side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the corner here on my lid. And I'm just going to pat it. And then I'm going to bring that out. And I just want to create this um, this nice little V shape right here. And again, just patting. 
notice I'm not doing any swiping and any circular motions. I just want control, right? And that's why um, I have this smaller brush to create that control that I want. So even if I bring it down to that triangular motion, it's still giving me control because of the size of the brush, okay? All right, I think that's all I want from that one because like I said, it's so much and it's so pigmented. And then I'm gonna go back with my blending brush and I'm gonna pick up some of the eccentric and I'm just going to let those colors blend a little bit more. So now I'm just gonna go in and just bleed a little bit more. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pick up a nice, like a light pink color. So I'm gonna go into my Warrior Two by Juvia's palette. Is it? Yeah. I'm just gonna pick up the um, like a nice light pink right there. I have a bigger, fluffier brush just so I could um, add some color to all of my blending. All right, so um, if you've lost any color, here's the point where you can add a little more. So I'm gonna go in and add a little more yellow carry that yellow just underneath a little bit here. Okay. color and I'm gonna drag it um, just underneath here just a little bit you know that deep purple that I had and then I'm gonna take that maroon um, not applying any reapplying any colors to this brush yet because I just want to see how much it's still on it, and so I'm gonna apply underneath. There's not much still on it, so I'll apply. The key to these colors is to make sure you're blending. On, a little bit of highlight. Just a soft matte. And I got a really small fluffy brush. This brush is from uh, Morphe. Morph. Now I'm gonna go in and like, um, I'm gonna finish adding my eyeliner, put my lashes on. Um, I think I'm gonna share my, my new foundation with you guys because it's summertime. So I think it's time to step into something new. It's okay to switch up your foundation routine. And um, cause in the winter, I, I really like that dewy, 
um, you know, shiny look, but in the summer, I'm automatically dewy shiny, so I'm looking for more of a matte look. So I'll share that with you guys as soon as I finish my eyes. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, and now I'm going to show you guys my new favorite. I know I got like three favorites. Um, so I'll give you my favorites, right? So my wintertime favorite is um, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Um, and the matte uh, Fit Me foundation. Those are my wintertime favorites because it gives me that, um, you know, that glow. It gives you that dewy look. I, I like dewy in the winter because in the winter my skin tends to be drier. And then my, my next, well, my first love has always been MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Um, I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say about MAC. Uh, their makeup still performs. They may not advertise or whatever, whatever, but um, this has always been my my favorite go-to. Um, however, now that I'm spending a little more time outside or I'm doing like training at work, I don't want to, you know, be the girl that's sweating off her makeup and you know, different things. And I get it, I get it. Like you guys are like, why are you wearing makeup? Why are you wearing makeup? I'm wearing makeup, okay? Um, don't wear makeup during PT. But anyways, it's called It Bye Bye Foundation. All right, I'm gonna let you guys get a look at that. And you see that 50 plus right there? Yeah, that is sunscreen. It's broad spectrum sunscreen, uh, sunscreen uh, 50 plus. All right, so this is clinically tested, hydrated, and anti-aging with 3D skin flex. This color for me was Rich Honey. Um, this was really crazy because I couldn't try the makeup on, so I had to kind of eyeball it, and I I hit it on the head. So anyways, it only takes one pump or half a pump, I swear, okay? So I'm just gonna do that. I'm going to, I'm gonna go with a full pump because I'm doing like, I have this full face on. But if I'm just doing my thing at work, I'm standing out at a ceremony, I would do half a pump. It, it really doesn't take much. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush and I'm going to tap just a little bit of that. I'm not even taking it all off my hand. And then I'm going to apply that to my face, okay? So I usually like to start at the bottom and work my way up, okay? I'll start down here and I'll pat. And I already did my um I already did my under eye concealer. So I'm just gonna pat one side of my face and forehead. Just using the excess that's on the brush. Cause I am gonna be in the sun a little bit today. Uh, a lot of it. All right, and so, I'm just gonna do a quick comparison so you guys can see. All right, so by the time you get outside and you, your skin starts to um, sweat a little bit, this makeup is gonna hold you together. All right, so we're gonna do the other side. And we'll add a little bit of glow too. You don't have to like, you know, like how you see the natural glow. You can add that. I'll start here. And I'm just, at first I'm just patting it. So look at this. 
Okay, don't pay attention to that. That's just my concealers. But look how much foundation I just wasted because I did a full pump versus the recommended half a pump is all you need. So, theory proven. I shouldn't have did the whole pump because I don't really, as you can see, I don't really need all of it. All right. Um, just continue to work the rest of that in. Anyways, that one was called Bye Bye Foundation. And I can kind of see why it's called that. All right, my Bare Minerals. Um, this is called Endless Glow Highlighted Illuminator. This is my go-to summer glow. Looks like this on the inside. All right, I'm gonna use my brush here. I'm gonna take a little bit. And we're just gonna add, you know, right there where I'm kinda already glowing. So if you want to add a little bit of um, texture to your face, a little bit of depth without without your face looking completely flat because all you did was add a foundation, you can go in with a contour kit. Uh, I'm going to use Anastasia's contour kit and I'm just going to add a little bit of um, depth. I'm going to use the, the darker colors here. I know this stuff is new techniques, so I'm just... I'm just having fun at this point. All right, so I start here. Like my, I'm just adding a little bit of texture. Okay, a little bit of that. Same thing on the other side, start here. if you have a bigger forehead you definitely want to put a little dark here like your girl got a big forehead and you want to make sure just you just got a little highlight in the middle right there okay so I'll go ahead and darken out my hairline there and just anywhere where you see you know depth I haven't gotten into the whole contour of my nose thing and all that yet. Um, I have no issues with my nose. So when I learn how to contour nose, maybe I'll do it. But right now I'm just not interested. Um, and then, um, you can use a little bit more highlight. Like if I want to use a little bit of this color here, you can just anywhere you please. I like to blend the two, blend those. Almost like the same places that I added my my goal, but just a little few places, see? Yeah. I finished this look off with um, Prep and Prime Fix Plus. It has a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. I really love it. Alright, I'm just gonna um, set that. You wanna make sure you get the gold shaker up in there, right? And just. Alright. I'm done with that look, guys. So thank you for sticking around. If you have not yet, please click the like and subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get my weekly, maybe monthly videos because. I've become a lot more busy lately since now I'm a surgeon major. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.